The House may be on the verge of launching its own investigation into Hillary Clinton's emails. Good morning, I'm Miranda Khan, and this is your Newsmax Now update. House Speaker John Boehner is ready to announce an investigation this week into Clinton's use of a personal server to handle her emails while serving as Secretary of State. That's according to ABC News. Newsmax CEO Chris Ruddy says an independent third party should look over her server, and everyone in the media needs to get the facts saying, look, all the emails should be released, there should be a third party review of it, um, but not make any accusation or allegation that she was hacked or that she hid emails until mm. the evidence proves it. Clinton says she used a private server for her email instead of a government account for convenience. He's back. After 10 days out of the public eye, Russia's president resurfaces. Vladimir Putin had a meeting today and posed for pictures in St. Petersburg. Putin's absence fueled rumors about his health. The State Department tries to clarify some recent comments made by Secretary of State John Kerry over the weekend. He's in Switzerland for more talks on Iran's nuclear program. Yesterday, in an interview, he appeared to say he was willing to talk with Syrian President Bashar Assad about the country's civil war. But a State Department spokesperson now says Kerry was not referring to Assad specifically and that the U.S. will never negotiate with him. He may have had a dispute with some other individuals or felt some dispute. Uh, we're not sure we completely uh, buy that part of it, but in any event, uh, it's possible he was firing at some other people and, uh, and the officers, of course, were in the back. Actually, what you just heard there was a, was a man talking in reference to the shooting that happened in Ferguson, Missouri, where those two police officers were shot. Uh, let's go on to another story. Now, our several charges have now been filed against the man accused in that shooting of two cops in Ferguson. 20-year-old Jeffrey Williams faces two counts of assault. The St. Louis County prosecutor says Williams admitted to firing the shots but was not aiming at police. The scion of a New York real estate family may have confessed to murder. At the end of an HBO special about Robert Durst, a microphone catches him whispering to himself, you're caught killed them all, of course. Durst has been implicated in several murders over the last few decades. He was arrested in New Orleans over the weekend in connection with the murder that happened 15 years ago in Los Angeles. And here comes March Madness. The brackets are now set for the NCAA tournament with Kentucky, Wisconsin, Willanova, and Duke taking the top seeds. The tournament gets underway in earnest on Thursday. There's your latest Newsmax Now update.